where are you right now? Well, the chances are, if you're watching this video, you're probably not watching the kids play in the pool or on vacation, or you might be, or you could have been wondering all month, I wonder when Andrew's video is coming out, because I wonder, hmm, what's happening in the real estate market? Well, we're going to share that with you in a minute, but before we do, I want to convey uh, from our team to you that we hope you have a wonderful summer, uh, that you get a chance to go outside, enjoy the sun, camping, Maybe you want to travel to Europe, but whatever you do in your summer months, we hope that you do it well and do it safe. And I hope I get a vacation too. Uh, anyways, I wanted to go over the numbers with you this month. It's no surprise that the market has dipped. Everybody's talking about it. You see it all over the media. But what's really happening in the market? I mean, what's really happening when you go uh, house to house looking for homes? What are buyers saying? What are sellers saying? I'm going to give you those insights in a second, but to set that up first, I am going to share my screen with you like always and go over the numbers. You can see this in our newsletter down below. There's a graph um, and uh, you can interpret that for yourself as, if you will. Uh, hopefully you can see that. I'm going to look over to my left and my screen to my left so I can see this. Uh, right now we're looking at single family homes in Guelph. You notice that the average single family home has now dipped to 870,000 from its peak of 1,082,000. And that's approximately a 19% dip. If you look over here, you'll see what that is year over year. So last year at this time, we're still up 8.8%. So it's not entirely bad news. But the interesting thing too is, is if you look at townhouses, you see a slight dip or say a slight blip going up. Condos is more or less flat with a little bit of a dip. And then you look at semi-detached houses and it's also gone up. Now, if you look at this 790, uh, it's still up 19% over last year at this time. That's pretty significant. From its height of 949, it's, it seems like it's a lot, it's gone down a lot, but it's really not that much when you compare it to year over year. Um, I also want you to notice that the difference between a semi-detached house, 790, and a single detached house at 870 isn't really that much. And why is that? Well, real estate is all about affordability. So as the government raises the interest rates, people's affordability changes. I'm going to take that off for a second. I don't, I want to look at you and not these numbers. Um, yeah, so as interest rates rise, affordability is affected. So people can only afford uh, homes that are lower if they still want to get into the market. And there are still a lot of first-time homebuyers and people trying to enter into the market. And so you'll start to see this segment rise a little bit based on affordability as people have, a, have time to breathe and get used to the, uh, the higher interest rates, uh, things like that. The other thing you'll notice is that I think in the next month or so, you'll see a kind of a leveling off as a whole in the market. And the reason why this is going to happen is because there are a lot of people that bought at the height. So if you can imagine buying a $1.82 million detached house and you're selling your semi-detached house and it's now only worth $780, then people are trying to sell that quickly before the perceived market dips again. So you're going to have this flushing of the market as I see. And once all of those type of deals are flushed out of the market, we're going to enter into a very balanced market that is going to start rising a little bit. Again, as people get used to the interest rates and uh, they're willing to make deals because the, the supply and demand has not changed. Everybody still wants to buy a house and there's still not quite enough inventory to supply that. Okay, um, what's happening on the ground in terms of offers? Well, we've gone out with a number of buyers and been able to put in offers on properties that are reasonably priced. We've been able to have full conditions, financing, inspection, and the deal has, been, uh, has gone very smooth. The banks did take a little bit longer to approve it. They're doing uh, extra due diligence, They're asking for extra documents. Uh, some of them are actually asking for an appraisal during the, the uh, approval process, which I don't think is a bad idea, um, which, by the way, there are some deals that are not closing because the bank has chosen to do an, uh, an evaluation or an appraisal right before closing. And if they had bought very highly, the banks aren't going to want to take that risk. 
Um, so I'm not sure exactly how the banks are navigating through that as a whole, um, but that is something that is happening. So I wanted you to be aware of that. Sellers are also um, not willing to go down as much. So I've, what I'm seeing in the market, there's sort of a, a standoff between buyers and sellers. And eventually the sellers will win because buyers want to move into a house and live there. Uh, but some sellers, as I mentioned, can't, can't uh, wait for the upturn again. We can't wait for the prices to stop going down, I, I should say, because I, I don't see them rising beyond where they are too fast, um, but I definitely don't see them dipping much more below where they are. So hopefully I'm right. Hopefully that gives you some insight into the market. July and August are typically slow because most people are on vacation and we haven't had a really good vacation in a while because of this thing called COVID that we've been dealing with. So on that note, we wish you a happy summer. We hope you do get out and have a vacation. If you're thinking about a move, give our team a call. We can help guide you through the, the detailed numbers and make sure that you make the right decision for your family. Because next summer, we want you to be in the house that you love and spending time with your family. Take care. Enjoy your summer.